Hey YouTube, so this is a completely impromptu video. I usually kind of set up and plan what I'm gonna talk about, but I just, it's four o'clock in the morning and I've just moved into my new space and I'm really, really struggling with flaring symptoms. It's a whole story, but I discovered mold in my apartment. Well, actually the professionals discovered mold. I had suspected it. Um, and had them come over and look and they confirmed it and because I had been wondering why I've been sick for months and my daughter seems to always be sick and but not like super sick but sick enough where you just never feel well and so I did the whole like I had a COVID test and I had an RSV test and I had flu tests and strep tests and everything came back negative and I just and I took rounds of antibiotics and I just couldn't understand why I was never getting better and that made sense to me and because we the they discovered that the bedrooms were moldy and obviously that's where we slept and spent most of our time or a lot of our day anyway and yeah so I needed to get out of there especially for my daughter's sake and I have heard that mold and akathisia can be linked so that really freaked me out and so I had been living in the same place for three and a half years with my mom and my baby and then forced to move now because according to the landlord who is really sketchy he's really sketchy we've had tons of problems with him he couldn't fix it while we were staying there and I didn't trust that he was going to do a good enough job so we moved but this has just completely like flared up my symptoms and I was literally telling people three weeks ago you know I'm recovering from my antibiotic setback I'm feeling better I'm I'm feeling back to like 70 percent recovered and boom, I get hit with this and it's just, it's 4 a.m. and I, I can't sleep at all. I'm My daughter's sleeping in the bedroom, we're in the new space. My mom hasn't moved here yet. She's coming at the end of the month, so in two and a half weeks. And I just can't think straight, I can't sleep, I can't, like I've just got insane inner tension. Like it, the, the tension, the, the inner tension that comes with akathisia and these drugs is like, it, it's like otherworldly. I, there's times where I just bawl because the pain is so intense because it feels like my I'm being like clamped from the inside and I, the worst is in my arms and my upper body but I also it also is in my lower body because the it'll be like a bone crushing pain and just like bolts of electricity just shooting through my body and burning like everything is just burning from head to toe and like now pile on top of it all lack of sleep and it's just it's it's crazy because I used to be a workaholic I used to have three jobs I used to work stressful jobs like and I could just handle so much and people would just be like oh you're just never phased and that was the one good thing about the drugs I'm not talking about my adverse reaction when I reinstated I'm talking about when I took antidepressants for seven years so that's that's my story i took them for seven years for a situational depression they did really work well for me for a few years like i mean high high stress tolerance and i just had minor side effects you know like the sexual stuff and the weight gain but i really did feel well on them for a couple of years and then i think i hit tolerance looking back because i started having crazy symptoms like breakthrough symptoms and they were way worse than anything i'd ever experienced and then i came off because i had financial problems and couldn't afford anything so i came off them too quickly tapered by a doctor and just like the whole hell began and then i suffered for two years reinstated got akathisia got addicted to benzos, got cold turkey off those because they went paradoxical. I have this whole long story that you can watch um, on my channel. It's like an hour and some video, but the stress sensitivity in this is, I mean, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. Um, even day to day, like when I was feeling better, if I didn't do the same routine that I normally do every day, it brought on symptoms. Like it's insane to me. Like I used to just be able to just sleep like a log. It didn't matter what ha was going on in my world. I never felt anxious or depressed. I just was like, go, 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 go. I had energy and now it's like, don't upset the apple cart ever or I'm gonna feel an exacerbation of symptoms. Like it just blows my mind 
how you can reinstate for three months and I've had akathisia for 26 months now and I have diagnosed akathisia and I, I know I always appear calm in videos but I mean it is hell. I mean I've I've had consultations with withdrawal coaches and just based on my symptoms they're like you're a severe case and I am. I mean I've never been like this in my life but this is the new normal for me. I'm just thankful I can still function, but I mean, if I'm gonna be going back to insomnia, cause I had had that a long time through my withdrawal and then it really went away and I was sleeping really well again, unless I was in a very severe wave and then I would just get blips of insomnia and like terror and stuff that would keep me awake. But um, I was back to, you know, typically I'm back to sleeping normally, but now it's like, oh, I'm up all night. Now I've been up all night, It's it's four, 16 a.m. here and I haven't slept and I'm just trying to use this time you know my daughter's asleep I have some time where I can just breathe you know and try to like self-soothe even though that's really hard when you're like this but yeah the, like the stress sensitivity is real it's it's real and I just pray to God that things can settle here and I just even trying to adjust to just a new place. I think that's part of the reason I can't sleep and wondering what the neighbors downstairs are gonna be like and are they gonna be disruptive? And I, I, I've i talked in my Instagram videos that I have like moving trauma because I'm 41 next month and this is my 28th move just as an adult, not including moves as a child. I've had a lot of those moves were not my choice. Like I've had at least a half a dozen landlords sell the property and it was a forced move. I've had bed bugs, I've had mouse infestations, I've had flooding and now I had mold push me out and it's just like one thing after another. And as soon as I move into a place, I'm like, what's gonna go wrong here? You know, I can't just, I mean, I had this problem before I was even in withdrawal, but now that I'm in withdrawal or whatever the hell is going on with me, it's like way worse where I can't handle anything so loud. Like I even have noticed in, this is the, my first day here that the neighbors downstairs, you know, seem to slam their doors or I don't know. And, and I just get like that jumping out of the skin feeling when I hear a sound and it's like, I feel like I need to walk around with noise canceling headphones. And I don't mean this in an offensive way. I mean, I worked with the autism community for almost a decade. I feel like someone with mild autism now in the sense that I can't veer away from routine. I'm, I'm, I'm sensory, like I have sensory issues. I mean, for the first like two years of withdrawal, I wore sunglasses like 24 seven because I couldn't handle any indoor lights. I couldn't handle, even when at my job, I was able to work. This was before I had akathisia. I was able to work and I would, I was in a building working at a desk and I'd have to go like every half an hour to the bathroom and just sit in the stall with my sunglasses on cause I was in so much pain. And like sounds just send, shoot electricity through my body and make me feel like I'm jumping out of my skin. And it's it's just awful. It's it's so awful. It's an awful way to live. It's, it's so unnatural. Like this is not how life is supposed to be. Um, so I just, I'm literally like awake because I'm like, what, what am I going to have to face here? You know? And it's just, it just feels like I'm never going to heal because I just never have stabil enough stability long enough where I can just, things can just settle and I can trust in life again and trust in the, my body and the process. And cause it's just, something is always shaking the apple cart. Like it, it's just always something. And I, when I first found out that there was mold, I was kind of happy because I thought this is maybe the missing piece for me. Maybe once I get out of the mold, I'll go over that final hurdle of recovery, you know, cause I've felt 70% recovered at different times and I've wrote success stories and then, or 80% recovered. And then something happens and it sets me way back and I feel like I'm right back at square one. And it's really demeaning and yeah, it's just so discouraging. It it really is. And so I just do you do you guys find that just shaking up routine, um changes in things, unpredictability flares your symptoms. I know for me it certainly does. It really really does. 
and even my daughter crying. I mean, I'm back to being just irritable and I can't handle the sound. She has a very loud cry and just, it just, th just the irritability and the rage and just everything that goes along with this nightmare. I mean, I used to be such a healthy and happy person. Like I just, I think back and like, I can't even look at photos now and just, because it's just like before and after the event. That's like what my life is divided into now. And I look back at pictures of before I, not even before I fast tapered off my original antidepressant, but like before I ever took these drugs, like when I was 29 and younger, I just look at myself and I'm like, I'm such a shell of who I used to be. I mean, I used to be really into fitness and working out and I would work out and I had so much energy and I was fit. Like I had a flat stomach and I just looked good. And now it's like, ever since I took antidepressants, I have a gut that I can't get rid of. And I had put on, you know, the antidepressant 25 pounds or whatever, and I've just not been able to lose it. And I just, everything overstimulates me. And like, I just used to be so happy and energetic and, and just like, like I said, just love life and love fitness. And now it's just like, I just feel like I'm always in survival mode and it's just, it's not supposed to be this way. It just makes me so angry because like, I never was mentally ill to begin with. And it, these drugs are such a scam. And like, it's so hard to even be on social media now because there's those stupid posts about It'll list like all the different psych drugs and say, if you've never heard of these before, these are life-saving medications. Um, you know, people who meant, who have mental illness need these pills to function. And I'm like, they're such a scam. And especially now, like people are so scientific now that they have to have proof of everything. They, where's the data? Where's the studies to back this up? You know, just with, I'm not even talking about psychiatry. I'm talking about everything in general, you know, especially with, COVID and everything that's went on with that well where's the science and I'm following the science and it's like these people still believe in psychiatry I'm like there's literally not a shred of science in psychiatry none and that's just what people can't get through their heads and so they they say oh these are life-saving medications they're they're no better than placebo in trials it's just it I don't know if it's like mass brainwashing or if they just stun you enough where you call it working but it's like basically the same thing that alcohol does where you're just it just like numbs you out it's not actually fixing anything or healing anything or balancing anything and just you're just up against this like goliath you know of people who are just so pro medication and even like recently the bell let's talk day happened and i used to be you know hashtagging my posts about mental health and now I just I can't I can't bring myself to do it because the whole system is a scam I mean yes there are good treatments out there yes there are people who genuinely want to help and offer you know therapies that work and all these things but still the majority is like psychiatry take a pill there's no shame in taking mental health medication and I'm just like you people are drugging yourself and you don't even like like you're just doing it based on no tests just what a doctor told you based on your symptoms and then you could just go to the next doctor and they'll tell you something different because there's no science to it it just it it, it it's just something that I really struggle with like and and just I want to just come up against all these people and be like you people are just so blind and but I refrain because it there's no point and it just upsets me and I don't do it anymore but you know, if you only knew and, and just think about it logically for one second, you know, an antidepressant medication that's supposed to help depression has a black box warning that can cause suicide. Like right there, that should be a huge red flag to everybody. But no, people just aren't aware or they don't care or their doctor downplays it or whatever. Anyway, I'm veering off course. I'm literally, this is just a rambling video, my 4 a.m. thoughts on a Wednesday night, but... I'm just really, really struggling. Like, I'm so sick of this process. I'm so sick of the suffering. I mean, the amount of people that reach out to me from YouTube, uh, Facebook, you know, I've, I've made my story pretty well known. Uh, it's just astounding how many people this is happening to. Um, I have one friend who is pregnant now and has akathisia and she's really having a hard time. And it's just, I just feel her pain because I went through all of that and... 
it's it's so unfair you know it's so unfair that this is happening to so many people and I see people on Quora or Reddit or those forums you know where they're like asking for people's opinions and they say uh hey so you know they'll have a question about antibiotics and all these psychiatrists come and well this is you know these are so such effective medications and these are you know so helpful and you know this SNRI does this and this SSRI does this and I've had patients this and you know just spewing the whole you know if people mention withdrawal you know you know it's a decline of your mental illness and these things are progressive and blah 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 just lies on top of lies and never any mention of side effects or adverse reactions or akathisia and it just it just drives me insane it drives me absolutely insane uh just how these people can get away with it i just i don't understand but anyway i'm gonna cut this video off and it helps me to just vent and talk and it <laughs> this is kind of how i get my thoughts out and i don't really talk about these problems or these things with people in my real life anymore because it's just old news and i'm just sick of talking about it and they're sick of hearing about it so this is kind of my outlet and this is my way of talking it through so let me know in the comments how you're doing uh i know there's these these situations have a tragic ending for some people and one of my subscribers recently it, you know just he just couldn't bear it um and that was really tough and you know i've lost friends to this and it's just it's it's so avoidable and it just makes me angry so those are my thoughts <laughs> bye everyone